once a year we offer a service to the community so that they can get rid of their uh, their personal papers and insurance and IRS papers, anything that has their ID on it. And also get rid of outdated electronic equipment since so that uh, with the, new, the way electronics change from year to year, it, you, you always come up with a large inventory that you can't do anything with. So we offer an ability to keep that out of our landfill. Sims uh, Recycling actually shreds those computers and electronics and shreds them into little small pieces and then they extract the precious metals and the uh, semi-precious and then all of the elements are extracted and actually turned back, back in and recycle everything that they do recycles that thing. So you could we laughingly say you could probably donate your computer today and buy it back in five years. <laughs> and from the paper standpoint, uh, everybody uh, has a lot of papers that they can't dispose of. And of course, in the city, you can't burn them. So you don't have any alternative but to just keep storing them. So once a year, mid-May, at mid -May, we offer a service to, to bring your papers out and we turn it into confetti. And uh, well, all we ask is for a, a small donation to accept that and uh, provide that service. It started out as a uh, fundraiser for our Sunday school class, but it actually just turned out to be um, something for the community. The community has really embraced it. And what we do is we'll take a, we have a list of items that are needy for the church, and uh, the class will vote on that and select one of them to present the funds to that. Last year, uh, we gave it to our, our HVAC fund. We need a new air conditioning and heating system for the church. And so we donated uh, all the proceeds to that last year. We may do that again this year, but we're not sure just yet. The class hasn't decided. And that's a decision that the, that the whole class has to agree that that's what we should go. For a full version of the story, pick up a copy of the Walks Hatchie Daily Lie or read it online at walkshatchietx.com. This has been Andrew Branker reporting.